Yeah, hello, hello, hello. Big fat fish man here. And it is time for more Steel Division 2. I'm back with game two with Plop against Reese. And we have the 84th Guard Strelkovia. Now spelled correctly, apparently. And Plop is on balance. And they are playing on um, Zabuxin. So a very diverse map. Lots of different things going on on that map. So for the forest, what has he got to deal with that? we got Superior Rocks to help out. Strafnika always got plenty of DP. Got a card in A, card in B, card in C. Looking fairly nice. Not opted for the cheapo Cherno. Got some Superior in B. Nothing much in CQC in A phase. Not even any Flamers and you get two cards. I don't think that's the wisest of choices. He's not even taking the KV um, ADS either, which could come... Could come in fairly handy near some forest with a bit of flaminess. But of course you don't get too close to forest with um, with Shreks around and stuff. And we will see exactly what Reese has in a second or two. Um, planes. Reasonably good planes. AA. Decent enough. Some mortars. Some Kachuska. 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 Rocket stuff. Um, off map. Now reduced in price. 140 well compared to the other ones 140 points not too shot not too shoddy at all you get two loads in it 203 millimeters it's a bit hit and miss kind of off map in my opinion he's obviously for the artillery leaders in a with two of them i guess he's just thinking about he wants him to survive a bit better they've got strength 10 on them then b is just sheer numbers and plenty of snipers doing snipery things nice 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 is2s the 43s and the 44s is going for here. And ISU 152s, which made this division a lot more tougher. So, all round, but fairly light in the AT. It looks like he's just relying on a bit of AT. His AT tab in A phase. The rest is just going to bulk it out with his IS2s. Get snipers for spotting. Uh, let's go and have a look at what Mr. Reese has in store for us too. And here we are. And as you can see... Pretty interesting pick. We've got V for victory, which is in and of itself an interesting um, income. And we've got Rapana. So he's going to be struggling to kill the IS-2s without the use of his rocket planes. But he's got he's got these these things with just the the most adorable um, anti-tank planes in the game. Absolutely amazing. They're pretty decent as well. Like, they did out a bit of damage as well with it just uh, machine guns. Like, 1.08, it's not too bad. 405 kilometers an hour, which is it's reasonably fast as well. 8 rockets, 2 damage. Then more rockets, more rockets. Blend aims, he's only got 1 in A, not 1 in B. That would, in B, you get a ton of these as well, you get 6. Go for the JU-88s with bigger bomb loads there. No fighter bombers in A, though. He's got the recon planes coming in, which are really nice. They can take a lot of damage. You get two of them as well. And the Hawks and um, the the MS doing some stuff. So very good air tab on Rapana. In terms of um, the artillery, a lot of this. Got some nice cheap artillery in here. You get the 122 millimeters, which again, these, if they get close enough, these will be doing some damage onto the ice twos. So make good use of those, especially if you get them boosted up with some... Um, some leaders and such. And he's got some um, cheaper off-map planes. Bit slower these ones, but yeah, might be able to get some off-map off with those. AT guns, nothing particularly long range, unfortunately. 50 mil, 75 mil. This is a better one. You've got the heat on this. But yeah, nothing. These will be able to take down their heavier tanks a little bit, the APCR. But again, not nothing fantastic in terms of AT here. Other than in your infantry. you got these guys. Bazookas will be needed. He's just the one card in A. The latter for um, the latter for killing off um, transports and stuff. Um, what else have we got in here? Sissy Kef, AT satchels in there might come in quite handy. Snipers, sissies. So, mm, it's going to be an interesting one, I would say. A very interesting one. So the coating, four of them in A, double star. So it should help him in the air quite a bit. He needs to dominate the air play for sure. And this artillery should be able to take out the opponent's AA. As we saw, he, he only had um, four 
uh, 37 mils, like two in A at one star and then two in B at double vet. I think you might have had an 85 mil in there as well. Anyway, let's see how this goes. You filthy animals. Here we are. And yeah, apologies if the sound is a bit off. Um, I did try and test it before. It seemed a bit quiet, but yeah, it is what it is. I have to turn the volume up for this. I'll put the mic as close to my mouth as I can. Um, anyway, as we can see here, Reese is going absolutely bananas. T T twenty sixes are going to be coming in from every which way you can possibly get them in there. These are likely to get mopped up though by you. have got T34Es in the south. Looks like Plop is thinking about making a push into this area and holding it. Maybe dominating this reinforcement road here. We shall see how that turns out. There doesn't seem to be any AT weapons coming down here as of yet. And we've got a whole load of stuff coming in here. I'm really intrigued as to what Reese is thinking here. He's certainly got a lot of stuff coming in. And of course, there is the air assets as well. I expect there to be a rocket biplane somewhere or somewhere about to help pick off the tanks. Plop's got ZIS-3 in here. And this is pre-patch, pre by the way. And a ZIS-3 in the north. And it's very, very little here. It seems like there should be more units. But yeah, this is a thing with a panel. You can bring in so much. And what is Reese's plan here? Pretty aggressive into the town here. Looks like he wants to really dominate in this area. Very defensive in the north in the forests. And in the south looks yeah, fairly defensive over here too. Are these, the tanks are all going around this way. Okay, okay. And where are these tanks going? These are coming down this road. And one's coming around this way. Oh, could be interesting clash here. There's so little coming into the town. Um, where are all these... What is going into here then? Oh, so we've got a lot it's going into strange directions. These units. I feel like there's some misclicks there with the orders. Looks like he's grabbed enough flags in the northern position at the moment. But he's likely to lose this one. And the one in the south as well, which should by all rights be his. I think it's not going to be his for much longer. Crazy reinforcements here. The direction they're going in. You have to be careful not to get him to hug the trees. It is a pain. This is three in nice position here. If you can get this, this BA-10, which is going all the long way around here. This BA-10 might get into position before, actually, the AAPC is now moving up. Probably going to snipe him. The tanks are also in position. So Plop has got the 13-11 on. <coughs> Lots of AT weapons in here, but very little in the way of actual men with proper guns. BA-10 needs to move up a little bit, but it could get popped by the AT rifle. The T-26 is really slow to arrive, as they are. Some bombing runs into here might be a very good idea. He's so close to overwhelming in his central position already. Plop not putting anything into the forest around here or into these buildings, which is something I, I will frown upon and continue fr to frown upon for the rest of the game. You really need to put something here to hold this. If you'd add some flamers, you can rush them into here too and contest this flag and be an annoyance. Yak-1B, first plane coming in. I'm surprised to see it coming from Plop. If I go to in, up around this area, it would be really nice. We're like murdering things in this area, murdering things. Like pop, pop one into here, murder things around here, all the infantry as well. And it can also help deter any planes. Yeah, as... As expected, the Quadia, they're not going to do too well on their own there. The other guy needs to step up and help him out. The Ratman will absolutely murder him. Even though they're in light cover, they will probably beat him. Because the Swarmies are just deadly, that kind of range. T-26 is now moving in, so he should secure this flag. But as long as he doesn't pop them too far over, 
because this is three will mop up all of these and it looks like plop is doing what i was expecting he's going to try and come through this area and dominate this reinforcement road we've got a couple of packs coming straight on tail from reese good reaction here i'm still surprised not to see a plane coming in but the yak is flying around at the moment got an early artillery piece out as well the t26 is very bold just driving straight into the center of the town here he's going to keep them going this Gavadi DP will be able to have them. The snipers are in here. The BA-10. Again, lots of anti-tank rifles here. So some of these tanks, some of these pieces of armor will go down. But the infantry is getting really stressed out. He's going to get surrenders in. He might be looking to get surrenders in here. One of them looks fairly healthy though. I feel like one, one, one piece of armor has got to go down here, surely. There's one surrender. I think this T-26 is going to go down. Yeah, it does go down to the AT rifle eventually. But yeah, really nice aggressive play from Reese, and this is what he does need to do in A phase. Also got some Jakari moving across into the open, taking advantage. And now the Gavardia is into this position, but they're getting mopped up by light pieces of armor, machine guns. Plop's reaction is Gavardia DP everywhere. Which, mm, down this road, I don't know where this guy's going. Oh, just, it, just to hold this forest, that does make sense. This three, not doing anything over here. He's at least got the flag in the north and he's got it back to a 12 12. t34 has come in now managed to pick up the t26 ba10s as well in here really needs to get the anti-tank back here is not much good he needs to get them into the, into the town he is moving them out of the way to t c34 at guns now on the hill over here these are going to take down these guys Two AT guns against three tanks. The, the AT guns are going to win out. And here we go. Oh, it looks like he was targeting that one. He's just recalling straight away. That's unfortunate. Is it going to be needed? We'll be better off using this one in the town. Because we've got the AT guns to deal with these. All the tanks going down here. Or nearly all the tanks. This one's going to go down any second, I feel. But the other T-34. Looks fairly safe at the moment. Just out of range. Reese got the 1410 on and he's just making sure he gets this and it's going to go down shortly yeah there he goes but this flag barely being held by Reese. the armor should be able to do a good enough job but these AT rifles can be annoying but the the units they've been reduced there's only two men in this squad seven in the other so might be okay there for a bit does need to get something back here an AT gun into this area is always wise just needs to start getting AT gun down the road as well. These tankos, are they going to get in range? They're going to get pinned, unfortunately. Shikari needs to move up and take out these DPs. They're behind his lines. He might even bop another one. Is he going to get another one? Ooh. Yeah, you can't really for be throwing away armor like this if you're Reese. Getting some Shikari around the back. Why he's unloading them there? It's the worst possible position to unload them, to be honest. They don't have any range on them really. Into the forest here would be much wiser choice. But he's doing well. He's got a 1410 on. Oh, Yak 1B is coming out now. Lots of fighters. The recon planes coming out for recent to spot things. This biplane could have a go at these. He could have a go. He does need some aid. He's going to lose his biplane. Oh no. What's Plop doing? He's oh, he's going to take out the fighter instead. Loses one Yak B though. I think it's time for the coating now. If you bop pop them in this area somewhere, it'd be really nice. He's losing all his equipment in the open here. This one T-34 needs to get an AT plane onto this ASAP. Plop has made the incursion where he wanted to down here. He's just not gaining enough flags. He's just got the one. In the north, meanwhile, Reese trying to hunt out the unit in this forest. And he will be able to destroy it once he gets eyes on it. And he will be able to get that flag and get that double tick going. Sissy Kev in the north, too, coming in. Ooh. Finish off my tea. Manages to stay out line of sight of the Zis 3 there. Jakari in interesting position, actually. Just on the edge of the ridge here. So if anything comes over, any piece of armor, it will get popped. There's a Zis 2 coming in right here. Prime target for any infantry because it it's got no HE on it. It will just die. 
more air coming out from Plop. The Yak coming in. He's going to fly straight past the recon plane, unfortunately, though. The other Yak 1B is going after it. This recon's likely to go down. Reese up to 60 and 8, looking really strong at the moment. Yet a 250 point advantage in A is a big deal, especially with a division like Rapana, where you can just keep bringing in lots and lots of stuff. This T-34 is really holding the fort down here for Plop. Mojikari are coming in. They're coming in around the back in some strange positions. Really strange positions. But the forests are under control of Reese. He's still not bringing out an AA piece. He doesn't feel like he needs it. I really do think he does. It's going to help him and help protect his own airplay when it comes in too. Alright, so he's, he's reinforced down here with some recon units. Snipers. So he's got eyes on what's going on around here. And here come the bombers. Blenheim coming in to take out this 3. And are we going to see... He, is, he was aiming for that tank, but he might go down here. He's getting fallen back. He does need the AA piece in. He really does. The Blenheims. Oh, we've got a 37 million from Plop now. So that's going to be a problem. Crew panicked. Yes, it's going to be a problem for, for Reese to deal with. His bombing is going to be confined more to the sort of central and northern position now. A, a good move by Plop, I would say here. Bringing this in around this area where he's got the incursion going on. He does need to move these guys up a little bit. Just try and get the influence on this flag. And this... This plane's just not got eyes on this tank at the moment. It needs to get some more infantry into the town around here somewhere. An AT gun would be nice. And, oh, he's in, decided to go down the fighter route instead of the AA route. And we see the first IS-2 coming in from Plop. This is going to be the first of many. The Jakari did take out the ZIS-2 on the hill there. Or did they? I'm not sure what did. Something took it out, for sure. But Reese looking really strong. Does most certainly need some kind of rat men in here. He needs some sort of light machine guns in this area. A machine gun on the edge here would help out. He's got his machine guns all the way back here. Where's he moving them to? Just moving them forward, not attack move unfortunately. But he, he will be able to sneak this flag too in a moment. And I think that will be a double tick. If you can repel this Gavardia. We've got an OB-25 coming in though. That's going to help out an awful lot. The mortars are firing onto this artillery piece. The artillery piece is battering the infantry out in the open over here. Of course, Reese has really good eyes and everything. He's got the sissies out here. Sissy Kev's in here. Sissy Kev over here. You can see everything that's going on in this region. And big incursion of reinforcements coming straight into town. That's what, that is exactly what he's needed. Jakari you know, eventually getting picked off back here. There's not a lot they can do in that position. The IS-2 quite wary at the moment. I, I guess he must be worrying about um, Shrek's hiding over the hill somewhere. And the 16 is still on. Still a lot of game left. MS coming in for the, the Yak-1Bs, but I think the AA is going to deal with these pretty smartish. OB-25 has been pinned. I'm not sure by what it was pinned there. Could have been the artillery firing at it. And yeah, but he might, he's going to lose a fighter. He's definitely going to lose his fighter now. Yak won't be going to get it back. Yeah, he's gone. He needs to bring out his own AA into this region soon. I'm surprised he's not, he's not got his artillery firing at his AA piece at the moment. A bunch of Pioneer coming into the town here. Should be pretty hard to deal with for Plop. He's got some uh, superior rocks in here. But the sheer numbers of Pioneer will outclass him. These are all 20 points as well, these things. Really nice. I don't believe they've got a light machine gun. But in town fights like that, don't really need it. A biplane does go down. Good takedown for Plop. Certainly is what he, what he needs to be doing right now getting rid of the planes and he's re watching this oh no oh no hopefully he doesn't notice that and unloads his 
infantry fairly soon. Gavadi DP in a sneaky position round here, managed to survive. It could actually pick off this T26 with a bit of luck. And Sapiri rocks into the north from Plop now, trying to clear out his forest. Got his flag back, back to a double tick. And we are still, oh no, now we are in B phase. So Plop has a 40 point advantage per tick. And ISU 152 coming in now. There's very little on, on Reese's size that can deal with this. It's only the AT planes, really. And it's going to mop up here like nobody's business. This T26 is in a nice little spot, though. Hiding behind the buildings. Out of harm's way. So he's, he's going to keep holding, holding onto this flag. Recon plane coming out. Is he trying to spot out this AA piece now? His artillery goes down. It's like the OB-25 got that bad looks of it. So Reese not really thinking about what he's doing here, I believe. He does need AA. Just one Vicotin back here would do enough work on these planes to stop them coming out as much. And let's have a look at these. Oh, they have managed to clear out through here. Again, yeah, they've only got the rifles. Ni only nine of them. But we've got the TNT. They've got an AT satchel as well. 20 points. Strength nine squads. Pretty tasty, really. 69. Is he going to risk moving across the open here? If he can get into here, then he can really cut off lots of reinforcements that are coming in. Is he thinking about this flag now as well, possibly? It looks like he might be thinking along those lines. And now we see the AT planes coming in, and the T-34 is going to be a bit too bold there. It does get taken down. He's going to lose his... I think he's going to lose it. He's going to lose it. Is he going to lose both of them? That would be terrible. He might lose both here. If the Yacht can finish that one. Oh, not quite. The AA. Not in the perfect position at the moment, unfortunately. But all the planes do get through for Reese. And two of them do the work. Um, a leader into the town as well here. Very nice position secured here for Reese. Sniper is a, a good choice from Plop to help pick some things off, but two-man squad not fantastic the t-34 wouldn't hurt moving up a little bit to have a little peek but superior rocks are coming in looks like they will secure the flag if they unload on time They're just out of range with the superior rocks superior rocks unload you need to get into the building get into some heavy cover here and they do their light machine guns will help out a lot snipers popping away too kivari have unloaded right at the back there Decided to move them forwards now. And Reese still has a double tick on. We are coming towards the end of B phase. And it's looking very much in the bag for Reese at the moment. Plop has just not had an answer. The IS-2 has not been used. It's like he's forgotten about it completely. If he was to just move this forward to this area. And the IS ISU-152 maybe into this area to help support into the town. But he needs to make a drastic push somewhere very soon really his point advantage should have come back to help him out by this point and we see some uh, rocket artillery coming in this flag is flip flopping a bit here there's no AT back here there's a there is a Shrek hidden in the buildings and of course we've got Faust and anti-tank grenades hidden everywhere so he has to be careful the superior rocks needs more infantry in this Strafniki very good choice now. Lots of Superior coming into the north. He's lost his flag again. Superior rocks are getting cut off. The area of influence here. Oh my lord. So messy. Gavardia looks like they're going to get this flag back. So if you can get it down to a single tick here. Plop. He might be able to edge his way back into it. Possibly get another 12-12 back on. But there's so many reinforcements coming in for Reese now from everywhere. You can even afford to lose some in transports. What are these guys? Are these infantry guns? Or is it more artillery coming out? OB-25 is going to pop whatever it is if you're not careful. 15-9. And here comes a rocket artillery. Cleaning out some of the pioneers in there. Also hitting his own infantry a little. Machine gun pinning down a superior rock save. Which is really nice. Another sniper coming in from Plop making good use of these at the moment but there is 
he's really got a nice a nice foothold in this area. I feel what Plob needs to do is just sort of drive round past everything and just throw in infantry around here and try and grab flags. And now we see a big plane train coming in, picking off some of these guys. The are infantry guns that have come in here, not artillery. But there's no infantry to be killed anymore. And in the southern position, Reese mopping up there as well. It is back to 11.13 now. So good job by Plop. He has managed to edge back onto this flag. The superior rocks in the north. Oh, I thought he was just basic superior. Superior rocks in the north. All of this should hold this area now. And there we go. And Reese, is he going to collapse completely here? Oh dear, oh dear. If he gets this back to a 12-12, then we've got a fight on our hands. It's going to be a big grind fest. Seven minutes to victory for Reese. He's mopping up in the south, but he might, as Plop, invest more into the north and a little bit more into the centre. There's very little coming into the south. There's an IS-2 coming in now. I feel like if... Yeah, the AA piece is in here. I, I think we we can suspect what Reese might be doing here. As we're entering into C phase soon, so he's going to have five points more per tick, which is not a lot more. But I do feel like once he spots these heavy, these heavy pieces of armor, he'll be able to pick them off with his AT planes. But this one AA piece is doing the job. Plop can't really afford to invest into much AA at the moment, but it might be it might be an idea. And here we go. The planes come in again. The Yak 1B trying to get on the back of this rocket plane. And what's he going for? Oh, it doesn't matter. He's repulsed now. Again, he's not going to get to the IS-2 in time. Anyway, Blenheim, is he going to be bombing the IS-2 as well? And the rocket plane does go down there. T-26 on the hill, fighting against the IS-2. Not the wisest of choices. Oh, he's, he's going, having a go at the AA, actually, there. Plop. It's been quite successful in the air, I would say. Both players wasting a bit too much... But I think Plop has just won on the air battle a little bit. Just because he's got his AA piece. It's been really effective for him. But it is running out of ammunition now. Um, IS-2 popping away. T-26 goes down. These AT guns are not going to have much joy trying to kill this thing. Looks like Plop will be able to hold and secure this flag now. The IS-2 to back him up. Nothing around to kill it at the moment. The AA piece is in a nice position to keep it okay. Kivari getting mopped up in the forest in the north and even more being mopped up here. More Kivari in here. He needs some Jakari. He's just got Kivari though. Isn't that the way it always is? Too many Kivari when you need Jakari. But Plops made a nice little comeback here. Kivari DP. I don't know if they were unloaded preemptively or not there, but not in the best spot. Does need to move them out. Just move them straight into this area, I would say. Try and get back into this point. It's IS-2 still waiting back here with T-34. He needs to bring them forward. There's actually no AT weapons at all. Well, no AT guns for Reese in the north whatsoever. It's getting really close. Rocket artillery reloading. How far off is it? Well, it's halfway reloaded. And the P-3's coming in now for some bombing runs. IS-2 slowly moving up. But these packs are not going to be able to deal with this guy. They're just not going to do the job. Looks like Reese is just hoping his infantry can just keep on coming in order to hold these flags, possibly pressure another one. And Plop is bringing in as much Gavadri as he possibly can. Advanced deploying them. It's likely to get picked off if he's not careful. There's another IS-244 coming in for Plop. Called in. Reese still keeping a single tick going. Still no AA from Reese. And there's a whole swathe of infantry coming into the town here. It looks like he's pushing into the southern position of the town. Nice idea. A little surprised he didn't go for this a bit earlier. Should be able to mock up, mop up the DPs. Gavari coming around here as well. They're unloading a bit too early. 
and the Gavardi from Plob managing to get quite far up here. The AT piece was taken out by the IS-2, I believe, possibly by a bomber as well. And Plob could get another flag back in here. Jack 1B coming in to finish off the Gavari. Sissy's is probably a better bet from this, this kind of range. He's now picking off the Sissy is picking off the AA. AT planes. Are they going to be coming in soon? Pioneer it. Yeah, they do need to get back into this forest. Get the satchels off. But there's a lot of infantry coming in from the north here. Can Plop turn this around? Just got just under three minutes to do it. Kavari managed to get into the building just about here. Looks like some got unloaded. DP's reinforcements arriving just in the nick of time, I'd say. The AA has... Oh, no, it's not quite gone down. Nearly going down. And where's the, those AT planes? I'm really expecting it to come in here. Plop has got the 12-12 on again now. In the north, made good headway. Is there any armor left for Reese? I don't think so, but he's got the planes. He needs to be using them in the north. There's no AA. What? Did Plop just completely forget about this IS-2? It looks like he has. Just need to move it up here and then shoot. And here we go. AT planes coming in. The AA did get back up and running again. This P2, I think he's going to make it out. But there's Yeah, he'll make it out. He'll make it out. But Reese, he does. he's got to invest in one single AA piece to help him out here. They're not that expensive as well. The Sissy not managing to finish off the AA, unfortunately. IS-2 now acting like a infantry support weapon basically and Plop has got the tick on just a single tick a single hawk coming out for these this is not the right choice it will get picked off by them because it does have some AA support I think Plop has a reasonable chance to turn this around we're halfway through the game now but he does need to get a double tick on to Reese, and I feel like if he keeps his IS-2s alive like this, brings in another AA gun around here onto the hill, just starts moving his heavy armor forward, he can do it. If he's just sitting back like this, he's giving Reese the chance to get the single tick back on, or just hold the 12-12. Oh, but he's lost the flag in the south, so the single tick is on again now. An AA piece so desperately needed and still not coming in. Jakari going to have hard work against the flamer units in here. He's managed to sneak the flag back in the north, though. But he's lost another one elsewhere. Well, he's lost one in the centre here and the one on the hill. Doesn't look like he's paying attention to that at the moment. All of Plop's planes just flying around for free, bombing wherever they wish. Nothing is around to stop them doing so. It's a fatal error. And we've got rocket artillery firing. Reasonable hit here. The bomb has also helped do that, do some work. Just pinning the infantry. He's going to move in his value DP still got a single tick going and just a load more infantry coming into the north oh here we go some coming into the south as well it's not the kind of infantry you need to help disperse these guys he's just about snuck the flag back around here but yeah not for too much longer the double IS2 is going to smack him in the face and then the Gavardi is going to pop him off as well Unusual game, very unusual game. Jakari losing out to the superior rocks against flamers, against regular units. They're generally going to win out in the heavy forests because they won't have a chance to get their molotovs off. Looks like he did get a molo off, molly off there though, but not quite done enough damage to it. Stressed it out. It's Jakari moving forward. He's keeping a single tick on though, Reese, so that that's good. T-34 and I-2 now moving down off the hill, finally. 
these two cavalry are going to get absolutely wiped and this this could be it this could be how plop breaks him if he's going to break him anyway it seems like it's going to be here an off map coming in now as well to the center i've got a feeling he's going to drop it here and there's not a lot in there anymore but plop is still he needs a double tick plop he definitely needs a double tick on at some point i don't think he can single tick him down for another 20 minutes Ratman is going straight into the open. This machine gun just needs to reposition a little bit, really. Moving around to here, we'll be able to help out. Yeah, Jakari are not good in ranged battles. You want Jakari up here. It looks like that's all he's got left, actually. Lots of Jakari, I believe. Here we go. This is going to be the telling thing. These machine guns are not going to do anything to a tank. Jakari coming in, more coming into the town, into this area. Not a bad, not a bad choice actually, because you can get some close quarter fights off here. This sissy Kev might be better off moving to the edge over here in case any tanks come through. Get the AT off onto it. And we've got a pack coming into this area, which is likely to get picked off by the ISU-152. It's fire on a Jakari at the moment. If this pack manages to unload in time, it's got the APCR. It can pen it. I'm pretty sure it can pen it. 100 mil pen, 125. It's going to have a bit of a time doing it. And AT plane coming in. This this could be it. That could do the trick. Get a side shot on it now and finish it. That'll be really nice for Reese. He can then just try and sweep through in the north. Plop has still got the single tick on. But it ain't going to be enough. It's really close. And the Yak's coming in. Oh, fatal. He's lost another AT plane. At least the ISU has had to retreat quite far. So, Reese can get into these forests now. Start making efforts to clean up what's in here. And he's got more flags back. He's got the 12-12 back on. Another ISU-152 is coming in and more superior extremely slow vehicles. Plop, you made a mistake there. <laughs> Meanwhile in the south, the Jakari are being murdered in the open. Basically, doing a little bit of target practice for these Gavardia. The Ratmen are arriving soon and will be able to help support the Jakari as they just eat bullets. Uh, machine gun has slightly repositioned here, I believe. Oh, so just got eyes onto the Gavardia, which are firing onto the Jakari. So that will, that will be some help. And, oh, here come the planes. And there's a Blenheim. Both planes having the same idea here. Is the Hawk going to manage to pick off one of these? I think it will. I think it's going to pick one of them off, at least. The Blenheim gets a bombing run off as well. Is it? Oh, he gets picked off by the BE-3 himself. Yeah, Plop's definitely won. Definitely won the air battle here. It's not something you want to be hearing when you're on the Rapana side. But as things stand, only 18 minutes remaining. We are at a 12-12. Reese is looking pretty good. He's got lots of Jakari into the forest in the north now. It's going to be really hard to get him out of here without some severe bombing runs coming over there. Reese still not invested in an AA piece, and he, he really does need to. With this big investment here, I think you, you want to be putting an AA piece back here somewhere. Maybe in this position. Or in this position, because these things are quite vulnerable. And more infantry sacrificing itself to the IS-2 gods. Oh, an IS-2 did go down. What got that? What got that? I'm assuming it would have been a rocket plane. There's another rocket plane coming in. Going in for seconds is on the ISU 152. Uh, this is a fresh one though. Has he lost sight? No, he's got sight on it again. Does he have sight? He does have sight. He's going to get one. Oh, he gets the new one as well. This is one that's been battered to death, isn't it? Yeah, that one's been battered already. Yak 1B coming in. Probably going to pick off this P2 because he's got it on just recall. Yeah, he's, he's gone. Bye-bye. Again, AA piece. 
if you're listening, Reese. Come on, man. He's got the 1410 on now, though. Looks like he's going to secure it. Oh, oh, oh. If you've not watched game one as well, it's a pretty decent game. I will check that one out. Looks like Reese is going to gain a flag. And I believe Plopper's just thrown in the towel there. Yeah, he just didn't, didn't quite have enough. But really good plays. He, he heavily out-traded him. Heavily, but... If you heavily out-trade someone and you don't get the flags, then it doesn't really matter. Yeah, Reese, I think he's a man after my own heart. Just let the guys die. If you get the flags, it don't matter. <laughs> but yeah, the great thing about Rapana is you can do that. You can keep on pounding and pounding away with infantry and infantry and infantry. You get so much and it's so cheap. T-34, oh yeah. He done some work here, didn't he? Jeez. Yak bees, look at this. Wow. Zaleski, definitely. He's got to be MVP there. Unless another plane did better than this. Fantastic number of kills from that guy. Yeah, the plane's absolutely dominating. Reese was like... Yeah, he was really schooled in the airplay there. But the shocking thing was, there's just one single AA piece out. In the entire game. Unbelievable. And for the kills. Um, snipers doing the good old sniper things. I don't think anything stuck out as being particularly killy. On the side of Reese. Yeah it was just the snipers. They did a lot of nice work in there. This might have been the same one that was pinning down the AA as well. And really, really did help out quite a bit. Anyway, nice game there. Um, I'm not quite sure how the tables stand, but I will be back again at some point. Yet um, the, the 2v2 league starts next week. So, yeah, I'm currently speaking. It is Thursday now. I'm going to be casting again on Monday morning. Not sure what I'm going to be doing just yet. Probably still Division 2. Um, maybe do some 2v2 games or something. Or just go at some 1v1 stuff maybe it'll be a um, monthly tournament game who knows who knows anyway i'll be back then and uh, i'm going to keep doing the uh, going to keep up with the, the division 5 replays and casts yeah i've been enjoying them been pretty damn good and there's a lot more an awful lot more but i'm also as soon as we get the first the first game in from the 2v2 league i'm going to be casting those and those are likely to be quite quite more lengthy there's a 50 minute time limit on those games as well but i imagine some will be playing some will go to full distance but we shall see we shall see all right bye bye uh, catch you next time